Here is the Google Pixel 9a. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. First thing is turn it on. Just press and hold the power button until it boots up. From here, you can go ahead and choose your language. I'm good with English in the United States, and I'll tap on Get Started. Now you can set up using another device from another Pixel phone or tablet or any other Android device or even an iPhone or an iPad. For myself, I'm not going to copy anything over. This is going to be a fresh, clean install for me, so I'm going to tap on Skip for myself. Connect to Wi-Fi. You can skip that and do it later, but for me, I'm going to do this now. I'm going to put my Wi-Fi password in and then tap on the check mark there. Who are you setting this phone up for? Yourself or your child? For me, it's for myself, and I will tap on Next. Asking you to sign into your Google account, basically your Gmail. You can sign in now or you can do it later. For me, I'm just going to do it later, so I'm going to tap on Skip and then Skip right there for now. Connect to mobile network. Now this is where you can go ahead and insert your SIM card or you can go ahead and do the eSIM. You can do those now or you can do it after the setup's all complete. Okay, for myself, I'm gonna do it after all the setup's complete and I'll do a, actually put in a physical SIM card, but that's gonna be in the next video, okay? So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this part for now, skip. From here, I'm going to make a PIN or basically a password. You can always tap screen lock options and you can make it a pattern or a regular password as well. I'm just going to keep it at PIN and I'm going to make one between four to six digits here. Put it in once. It's going to ask you to reconfirm one more time. And then tap on confirm. Set up fingerprint unlock, basically a fingerprint password. You can set this up now or set it up later. I'm going to go ahead and set mine up now. So I'm going to go all the way down here and I'm going to tap on agree and I'm going to tap on start and now I'm just going to go ahead and put my thumb here just off and on you're going to feel it vibrate just keep going it's asking for the tip of my finger the edge of my finger and there we go and from here you can go ahead and add another finger if you wish or just tap on next you can always add another finger later on after setup as well Set up face unlock, basically face ID password to unlock your phone and whatnot. You can go ahead and do that right now, or you can always do not now and do it later. For myself, I'm just going to go not now. Google services, go ahead and read through these, and you can see use location, allow scanning, send usage, and diagnostic data. These are all optional, okay? So it's up to you. It doesn't matter. For myself, I'll have all those three on, no problem, and I'll just tap on accept. Some limited warranty information here. I'll tap on next here. Additional legal terms. Read through that and then tap on I agree. I get a peace of mind here. Tap on next. Review additional apps. Some things that you don't want, you can go ahead and take off. I'm fine with all of them on there. I'll tap on OK. Swipe to navigate. Learn gestures to go home, go back, and switch apps. You can skip that or you can try it out. We can go ahead and we'll just try it out. So if you want to go home from the bottom, you want to swipe up like that. If you want to go back, you can do this left to right or right to left. If you want to switch apps or see apps are open, go from the bottom here, slide up, hold the screen like that, and then let go and you can slide through all your apps. And we're going to tap on done right there. You're all set. I just swipe up like that. And voila. Looks like we are in business. There you go. Pretty simple.